In a class of 31, 19 students play weekend sports, 13 students have part-time jobs, and five have neither. Draw a Venn diagram. So I've already drawn the, the framework of the Venn diagram. So this rectangle represents the sample space or the universal set. So you write a U there. So from this information, we are making these two circles represents these two things. One circle represents the students who play sports, and the other rep represents the students who do part-time jobs. So let me write S for sports and J for jobs. So which number can we write uh, in this circle and in this rectangle? So this is very clear. There are five who do neither uh, jobs or play sports. So you can write five here. Okay, now there are so there is the total of sport playing uh, is 19, and the the total of students who do jobs is 13. So there are a number of students who do both of them. Okay, so this area, this area represents the student who who do who play sports and also do jobs. Okay, so this area. So this is called the intersection. Okay, so this area represents students who do both uh, sports and job. Okay, so using logic, so if this is phi, I will do 35 take away phi. So you, you want to represent now the 26 students. You want to represent the 26 students. So the 26 students would come up in this circle. Now if you add this to, this is 32. So I hope you understand the difference. So I told you there are some students who play sports, or who do jobs, and also play sports. So 32 take away 26 is 6. So 6 would come here. 6 represents the student who plays sports and also do jobs. So now 19 take away 6 is 30. So these students are only playing sport. OK, so these 6 students play sports and jobs. And the total of job doing students is 13, so 6 plus 7. So you can, this is the five students who don't do sports or jobs. These seven students only do jobs. These six students do sports and sports and job, and these students only do sports. So based on this, let's answer these questions. A student is selected at random from the class. So that means the class is of 31 students. What's the probability that the student play part-time, play sports and part-time jobs? So you're talking from the whole class. So there are six students out of 31 who play sports and uh, do jobs. So that's six out of 31. OK, what's the next question? So let me drag that up so that you can see. A sports playing student is chosen. Okay, so a sports playing, underlined sports playing student. So you're talking about 19 students. Okay, you're talking about these 19 students. What's the probability that the student does not have a job? Okay, so this is a sports playing student, which is 19. And out of them, 13 do not have jobs. So the probability of this happening is 13 out of 19 is 13 out of 90. OK. And the last question is a bit tricky question. A student who does not play sports is chosen. So how many students do not play sports? These seven sp students don't play sports. They don't play sports. They only do jobs. And these five students don't do jobs or sports. So there are 12 students in this category. A student who does not play sports is chosen. That means you're talking about these 12 students. From these 12 students, what's the probability the student has a part-time job? So, so that these 12 students do not play sports. And out of them, uh, the seven have a job. So that is seven out of 12.